I'd do all the comedy club. Well, not all the comedy clubs, but anywhere that would pay me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah tell me about it. I'm Danny Postel, I'm 28, and I'm an impressionist. I started doing impressions when I was in secondary school. I thought, well, you know, I could make a living out of this. It's going to be easy. When really mentally it can be hard and it can be a bit of a strain sometimes. You can turn up and do gigs to some audience who don't want to know. Or sometimes you've got 20 quid left in your wallet and thinking, oh, I hope this is going to get me back as well, just in case they don't pay me because I'm not funny. There are times I've been driving home from a gig and thought, I don't want to do this anymore. Do you know, I've been working all these years in comedy. I think this is probably one of the biggest moments in my life. And if I can crack this, then things are going to get better. Shall we do it? Yeah, come on, then. Come on, then. Do come on. Well, this it's is the best of you know how hard that job can be. How are you? I'm very good. How are you, Simon? I'm great, thank you. And what's your name? My name's Danny Posthill. I'm a comedy impressionist. You do, do that full time? I do, yeah, I do the comedy clubs and after dinners and anywhere else. That and what is me. the club circuit like now? Is it good? The money's not brilliant. You've got to do a lot of gigs to yeah. make your money up, you know. Daniel, well, good luck. Thank you very much, Simon. <laughs> I was talking to a very good friend of mine, very funny guy. <laughs> All the way from Liverpool, you know, Mr. John Bishop. I've just been doing a celebrity episode of Come Down With Me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was on there with Gary Barlow, and I was on there with David Beckham. I tell you what, David, you know what? You are an absolutely fantastic, phenomenal footballer, you know, but there is a question I've been meaning to ask you now for a long, long time. <laughs> Which is because you've got such a funny voice. Have you ever thought about being a stand-up comedian? Ah, uh, you know, people have often said to me, you know, about our uh, stand-up comedy, and uh, I've often thought to myself, if I speed my voice up a little bit more, eventually I will turn into Michael McIntyre. Yes, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> what I like about Michael is he's very middle-class. I love middle-class people. Middle-class people tend to do this thing where they say a bad word in front of a good word to make the good word sound even better than what it actually is. <laughs> OK. Michael would say something like, yes, it was terribly exciting, yes. It wasn't just exciting, it was terribly exciting. <laughs> I used the word terribly in front of exciting to make exciting sound even more exciting. <laughs> I can see you all now looking at me now. You're all looking at me thinking, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's Michael McIntyre's face with Harry Hill's head. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Thank you very much. A good night. Cheers. Thank you. What is there to say? It was just brilliantly funny. It's always great to see impressionists who do people other people don't do. Um, I'm sure you're going to do brilliantly in this competition. Thank you very much, David. Cheers. Yeah, David's right. What can we say? What you do is so difficult, and you've made it look so easy. I loved the Gary Barlow of Genius, and I'm sure there's many more impersonations that you I've can do. I've got loads more stuff for you. And yeah. I, do you know what? I really want to see them. Thank you very much. Effortless, and I hope you know that all those, you know, nights of travelling up and down the country doing gigs, it's made you hone your act. <laughs> I think you got a great reaction because, you know, the end was great, you're funny. Um, I think Billy Connolly is a bit passe, I've heard that a lot, but you're good. I like you. Thank you. I think we're going to go. David? I'm going to say yes. Yes. It's a yes from me. 
Danny, you got four yeses. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. I loved it. Yes. And how many people do you do? I mean, who can you come back in and, and do for us? Uh, well, we can, uh, I've saved a couple for uh... Have you now? <laughs> he was hilarious. That was very funny. How did it go? It was brilliant. It's, it's like I'm in a dream and I haven't woke up yet. <laughs>